What's up my friends, welcome back, you're watching Harv Video Order Stuff, and in this video I'm checking out the latest release of the Phantom Ari Look Lutz, the fifth generation, would you believe it? So Phantom Lutz have changed so much since I started using them a few years ago, so I thought it'd be interesting to check out the latest ones and show you just how damn good they are. Just one small bit of housekeeping before we dive in, and that's that I've just launched my Patreon. And it's a non-profit thing, so the idea is that with the funds from Patreon, I'm going to buy some gear and then give it away to you after I have reviewed it. It's just a really elegant way of me improving the content, which I hope is pretty good already. And at the same time, you get the potential to win some awesome gear. So it's win-win. And speaking of winning, I have three of the Phantom Luck packs to give away to my Patreon backers. Many thanks to Joel for donating these. And of course, if you would like the chance to win one of these and support the channel, you can do this via Patreon. The details for that you can find in the description box below. And I appreciate you. Thank you. So I would consider Phantom Lutz an essential purchase for anyone who shoots log with a Sony Alpha camera, any of the FX series, the FX3, 6 and 9, or even the older ones like the FS5 and the FS7. Not to forget, there are also versions available for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and 6K versions. If you want to pick them up, I managed to get a discount code for you. Just use the code HARV at checkout and you'll get a tasty discount. Phantom Lutz were good when I first tried them a few years ago. Now they've evolved over time and they're just ridiculous. I want to start by showing you the neutral LUT, which is the main lookup table that Joel, the creator, has spent years of his life creating. So here we have a shot in S-Log3, and then when I add nothing but the neutral LUT, it looks like this. To me, this looks awesome. It doesn't need any work. Here's another, I mean, come on, great skin tones, contrast, Highlight roll off, perfect saturation. I could tweak these, but it would feel a bit wrong. They're just perfect. The principal reason why these lookup tables look so good is because Joel, the creator, a few years ago went out and bought himself an Ari Amira, as you do. And he's been shooting video side by side with Sony cameras to compare and contrast and improve those lookup tables ever since. He could have just churned out the first generation of the lookup tables and then sat back on his laurels, but no, he stuck at it and just kept striving to improve and improve to get just a little bit closer and closer to that amazing Ari colour science. You get five lookup tables in the pack. I've already mentioned the neutral lookup table. The others are creative versions. Ice blue, as it suggests, leans slightly towards blue and turquoise. I really like using this lookup table for when you have an image that looks a little too warm. Instead of changing your white balance slider, you can switch to this and it does the job without messing up the hue of your skin tones. Tungsten works in quite the opposite way of ice blue expect a lovely golden cast. Jamaica gives a really unique look of pronounced green and gold. It's probably the one I use the least, but I still love the looks. Utopia is definitely my favourite of the lot and the one I use the most. It seems to give a touch of the cinematic teal and orange colour, a touch more contrast, maybe slightly more gritty looking, all the while retaining amazing looking accurate skin tones. I feel like Phantom Lutz have had a monumental impact on the way that Sony shooters shoot video. I'm talking about the transition from using linear profiles, such as Cine4 for a safe bet profile, to confidently using S-Log2 and particularly 3, and just knowing that you're going to get great results. There was a time where the argument could be made that shooting S-Log3 was just too long-winded and too much of a hassle and people would prefer to go with one of these linear profiles like Cine4 for fast workflow and just a good solid image. We're at a point now where by using Phantom LUTs I feel like there is no downside to using S-Log2 or 3 that I can think of. Some would say they're not a fan of the higher native ISOs you get with S-Log3, like with the Sony a7S IV, the native minimum is 800. But perhaps it's not well known enough that a log curve ISO is roughly the equivalent of an ISO two stops lower on a linear profile. So the ISO 800 on the A7 IV is roughly the equivalent of ISO 200 when you shoot in Cine 1, 2, 3 or 4. It also doesn't mean that you're going to need more stops of ND filter when you shoot outside and it doesn't mean you're going to get noisy shadows when you shoot in low light. These are all 
myths. And then there's the point of dynamic range. With linear, you get eight to nine stops of the dynamic range. With S-Log3, 13. Overexpose your footage using a linear profile and your clips have had it. They're useless. Do that with S-Log3 and there's a lot more you can do to bring it back and save it. Others may argue that the workflow that you encounter with S-Log3 is much more difficult than if you shoot with something like Rec. 709. I disagree. Even Rec. 709 needs colour correction or maybe even contrast adjustments. A lot of the time with S-Log3 footage, I'll just drop on the Phantom Neutral lookup table and then I don't want to touch it after that. The contrast, the skin tones, primary colours, highlight roll-off, everything is where I want it to be. Next, I wanted to mention something that is actually quite special when it comes to the Phantom LUTs, and that's something that Joel, the creator, calls hue curling. Let me show you what it is. So here I've got some footage that I shot in S-Log3, and I've done a basic grade, which I'm happy with. By the way, the eagle-eyed of you may have noticed this interesting plugin here. This is the Lightroom Controls for Final Cut plugin. It's fantastic. I reviewed it recently, and now it goes at the beginning of my chain of plugins for every single grade I do. I'll link to that review below if you're interested. And if you wanted to snap it up, I managed to get a code for you. The code is half to use at checkout and you get 10% off. You are welcome. To demonstrate this hue curling, I'm going to use a draw mask and I'm going to draw around this woman's coat. And I'm doing this just because I want to isolate something that's red colored in our scene. When we do that and we look at it on the vector scope, you can see that it is red, but it curls towards magenta. And this will become more pronounced the more we saturate it. I compared this same thing with footage that was shot in HLG and you can see that that line is way more straight. So hue curling really lends itself to a very complex and interesting image. What's more is this is not just a phenomenon that happens with the reds, it also happens with the blues and oranges, as you can see here. This is fascinating to me and I've never seen this from any other lookup table. Anyway, that's it for now. Feel free to ask me any questions about Phantom Luts in the comment section below if you want to. I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. I've got a large archive of videos about videography on this channel, of which YouTube has picked this video for you and the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.